Hi guys, I'm Mojtaba. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to assembling, mating, and making an animation in SOLIDWORKS. Tutorial video of designing a adjustable spanner from a 3D picture is available on the channel. You can watch this tutorial or you can download the files from link below. Okay, let's start. Open the SolidWork. Create a new file. Select Assembly Environment. Now I should select the file that I want. I choose screw, jaw, knot, bolt, and main body and click open. When I click everywhere, the file that I selected are imported to Assembly Environment. As you see, when I imported the file, the jaw is hidden. Also, in next level, this problem may be repeat again. To solving this problem, uh, I click on rebuild and the all file are show. Okay, I start the assembling from main body. The main body, because that is imported first part, uh, is fixed. To move this body, uh, we can right click on the main body and click on float. But now, because that I want to assemble the main body, it's better that we fix. To mating, I click on mate. I want to place the screw in its location. So, first I select the surface of the screw, then I select the surface of main body. As you see, the screw is coaxial with the hole. Now I should adjust the distance the screw from the depth of the hole. So I select uh, this surface and active the distance. And I enter 10 mm. As you see, the screw is uh, located correctly and can rotate freely. Okay, now I want to mating the jaw. So I select this surface and this surface to be coaxial. Okay, now I select the upper surface of the main body and upper surface of uh, jaw to be coincident. As you see, the jaw is mated co uh, correctly and it can move free. Okay, now I want to uh, limit the movement of the jaw. So I select the surface of the fixed jaw and surface of the movable jaw. Then I click distance and I enter the advanced mate. Now I can consider the maximum and the minimum value for this mate. So I enter 144 maximum and 35 mm for minimum value. Okay, as you see the jaw uh, can't move more than the maximum value or less than the minimum value. Next myth that I want to consider is that by moving the jaw, the adjust screw start to rotate. So I click on the mate, but this time I enter the mechanical mate. Then I select the rack pinion. On top of this section, there are two boxes. In the first box, the rack should be selected. And in second box, the pinion should be selected. So I select the job for rack box and I select the main shaft of the screw for pinion. Then click OK. Okay, as you see, when I move the jaw 
the screw start to rotating but they don't have a coordinate movement so I select this plan for seeing this problem better when I move the jaw the jaw and the screw have interaction because the pitch of the movement isn't correct here. so open the mate and right click on the right pinion gear and select edit feature at the bottom there is a place to define the step value I select rack travel relation because in designing I consider its value to be 10 uh, I enter 10 mm for this value click ok and move the jaw when I move jaw the movement is corrected but uh, we have a little interaction again for solving this problem I suppress this mate and put the jaw in its correct place then I unsuppress the mate by moving the jaw again uh, as you see the movement is correct completely so mating of the adjustable spanner is finished and now we should mating the bolt and knot the bolt and knot are imported from design library so I start mating them I right click on the bolt and select fixed for bolt then I click on mate and select surface of knot and surface of bolt to be coaxially then ok and I enter the mechanical mate again and select a screw for mating them at the top is a box for selecting bolt and knot so I select surface of bolt and surface of knot in the lower section I define the pitch value I select distance regulation and I enter 40 mm for this value then click OK by rotating the knot it starts to moving a line axis of bolt the animation that I am going to make is that the body of adjustable spanner starts to move and reach near the knot then jaw start to close and the knot and adjustable spanner rotate until the screw is close to the end so I have to define some mate again for this I right click on adjustable spanner and click on float in the first step I put the body and knot on same plan for this I fix the knot first then click mate and select top surface of body and top surface of mate then ok for moving the knot I right click on knot and click on float now click on mate and select this surface and this surface the body move away so I bring it closer now I want limit the movement of body for this I click on mate and select this surface and this edge in section I'll select the uh, distance and enter the advanced mate I enter 150 for maximum value and 0 for minimum value then click OK as you see the movement of uh, body is limited in the animation the body must move close to the knot the jaw closes and begin to rotate
So for rotating the knot, I should define another mate. Click on the mate and I select the surface of the bolt and surface of the knot. Again, select the distance and enter 154 maximum and 0 for minim minimum value. Then click OK. Mating completed. So I save the file. Okay, now we have to enter the motion study environment. In this environment, there is a section where we can define the property of anything at any time. There is a keyframe in front of each mate and each part that we can define property of the part or mate in every time. For example, we can define a value for a distant mate. Or we can even define the color and transparency of the parts. Let's define the movement. So first step is that the body moved the near of knot. So I find the mate that is for uh, moving the body. That's the uh, leave distance too. There is a keyframe in front of the mate in zero second. I want the body to move and reach the knot for third second. So uh, in front of uh, leave distance two and in third second I right click and click on place key. As you see a keyframe created in this time. For editing this uh, mate, we can double click on this keyframe and enter the value that we want. So I enter zero for this value. By clicking on OK, a blue line is drawn between these keyframes. That means the moving is created. To apply the movement completely, I should click on Calculate. After it changed, it's better to click on this option to apply change completely. As you see, when click on Calculate, the main body moves near the knot in 3 seconds. In the next uh, step, the jaw should move near the knot and in contact with the knot. So I should select the mate that is for movement of the jaw. I should uh, create keyframe in front limit distance 1. In fact, I want that the jaw move uh, between the 4th and 5th seconds. So I should create two keyframes for moving between these times. After placing keys, uh, right click on the keyframe that is in 5 seconds and enter 85 mm for this value. To creating the movement between these times. As you see the uh, blue line is drawn between these times. As you see, there is one second pause between three and four seconds. Again, click on the calculate. There is a little distance between the jaw and knot that I should uh, change the value. So I right click on the keyframe and enter 80 mm for this value. By click on calculate, the jaw is uh, placed in correct location. The next movement is for rotating the body and knot. 
that means the uh, knot start rotating until end. The point is that uh, because the rack pinion mate is active, it don't allow to rotate knot and main body. Because the axis of the pinion should be fixed. So I should uh, suppress this mate first and then rotate the body. For this, I created a keyframe in 6 seconds from the uh, rack pinion mate. And right click on this mate and uh, click on suppress. So when time bar arrives the 6 seconds, this mate will be suppressed. Okay, in next step, uh, the main body and knot should rotate. For this, I create keyframe from the limit distance theory. There is another way to create in the keyframe. For this, I should uh, hold the control button and drag the keyframe that I want. When I drag the keyframe, every time uh, the keyframe will create it there. So I hold control button and create two keyframe. Then I edit the second keyframe and enter zero value for this. So the blue line is created, but that is created from zero second. To enter the correct value, I copy the value of zero second in seven second. As you see, the blue line is drawn between these keyframes. By click on calculate again, as you see, the movement is correct. The movement is end, but there is another important part that refer to place the camera in correct place. The option that we we can uh, placing the camera is orientation and camera view. So by creating the keyframe in front of this option, we can place the camera. For example, I want have to this view for zero second. So I right click on keyframe and click on replace key. In next step, I want when the main body arrive the knot and the jaw close, the camera move backward. So when the jaw is uh, closed, I create a keyframe and create another keyframe in next seconds. As you see, for having camera movement, I should change the view in second keyframe. And at the end of the move, I want to have view from the bottom view. So I create a keyframe for this view and create another keyframe from bottom view in the next seconds. For watching the uh, full of animation, click on play from start. The mating and motion is end. 
So for saving the animation, click on save animation. In the new window, we have options such as uh, re resolution, frame per second, and another option. Uh, I click on save. And in new window, I select full frame. click OK and uh, select yes to recalculate it. By ending the motion, the animation saved in location that we select. I put the animation that was made at the end of the video. Comment your question and suggestion below this video. Also like this video and subscribe the channel. I hope you enjoy it.